Hey, welcome to this week's cleaning video. Today I will be tackling this main living area of my house. Now my husband and I have been doing a ton of landscaping outside of our home and uh, just trying to get some landscaping done. So that has where our attention has went and my house has taken a definite back seat to any cleaning lately. As you can see here, my kitchen is a disaster. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all tidied up. Also throw a meal into the crock pot. I am back on keto now and so this is just a quick keto meal that I'll throw together while cleaning and I hope that it motivates you to get on up, get something cleaned in your home. And I did want to quickly mention here how close I am to hitting 1,000 subscribers. It is a milestone that I have been trying to hit now for a while. It'll still take me a little while to get there. And I will for sure be doing a giveaway once I hit that 1,000 subscribers. So I'd really appreciate it if you are already not subscribed to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below and remember to turn on that notification bell and click all because I will for sure be doing a giveaway once I hit that 1000 subscribers. And if you're not already following me over on Instagram, follow me over there as well and I will give more details once I get closer to that thousand subscriber mark. So now let's go ahead and jump into this video. I'll get some cleaning done and make sure you stay all the way till the end and I will show you our yard landscaping progress. You take my life for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah
don't know about you guys, but honestly, dishes are just my number one dreaded chore in the kitchen. Let me know down below. Do you guys enjoy doing dishes? Do you not enjoy them? I mean, I sure love it when they're all done, but even in this video, you'll see that I was not able to even completely get every dish done. I had to end up doing it later um, because like I said, we are just so busy outside working on landscaping. Um, but even though I was only able to get this main living area cleaned in my house, I felt so accomplished because I had that crock pot meal going i got the kitchen straightened up the living room straightened up the dining room straightened up and i just felt so much better so you know if you're like me and you're a working mama just know or even a stay-at-home mom just know it's okay you don't have to get your whole entire house clean and perfect every day as long as you just accomplish and can get one thing done that is good enough in my book and just know that you're not alone if you feel like it's hard to keep up on house chores just know it does not need to be perfect and if you do one room at a time those other rooms will always be waiting for us right <laughs> why do i make things complicated why do i lose all my control oh, oh. i keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor something to save us Close, but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart I'm stripping down now I'm stripping down now I'm stripping down now This is not what we should be Start to get the best of me I swear to never talk about it Until I start, until I start yeah. Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart Strip it down So on my channel, I am always showing my plant progress. This here is a new plant, so I'd like to introduce her. She is an alocasia plant. Um, her name, I name my plants. Her name is Sansa, after a character in Game of Thrones. I just think she is beautiful. I've wanted this plant for a while now. And then next, I'm gonna show you some plants that I have propagated and um, i really feel like it's successful and so i'm really excited and wanted to share that with you next as well okay and then coming back over here's the dishes that i'll finish later but i did want to show you that i did propagate these um, this one here is a succulent off of this plant and i just popped a little piece off I put it in some water and let it grow some roots and then I planted it once it had some nice roots established. And then I also propagated my Chinese money plant, put it in some water, 
let it grow some nice roots and now I have it planted. So there's an update on those. Let me give you a couple of more plant updates. This one here is a new plant. It is another snake plant, but it's a different one. It is called, I will put the name on the screen here because I have forgotten. But I, I did name this plant after Game of Thrones character Tyrion. Um, I love that character. And so that is what this plant's name is, is Tyrion. I love the black pot that it's in. I ended up putting it on an existing stand that I have. And then this beauty here, <clears throat> her name is Egret. She is also from Game of Thrones. She is Jon Snow's girlfriend in real life, but also on the show, um, it was his girlfriend. And this is a, just a little baby fiddly fig. And I love this uh, little basket that I got for $5 and I put that in there. And then I did repot <clears throat> my umbrella tree plant. I told you guys that I had some issues with this and I just felt like the um, soil on the plant just wasn't getting enough water. It wasn't draining properly. So I replanted it in a bigger pot and then put it in this basket. I got that basket at Lowe's. So that is some of my plant progress. I'm loving the way that this is looking here. And now as I show you a little bit more plant progress, these are just some new leaves that are coming on this Monstera of mine. It's so exciting when you're a plant mom and you see new growth on any plant. So I'm just always so excited sharing that progress on my YouTube channel as well as over on Instagram. And if you haven't seen my most recent video, um, I did do a collaboration with a dear friend of mine and we did kind of introduce all of our plants and clean the areas in which our plants lived in. It was a fun collab with a dear friend of mine. So if you have not checked that out, check it out. It's my last video that I did. I'll also have it linked down below. So now to give you a quick update on everything we've been doing outside here I'm just showing you like all the weeds that we had to work through and remove in this rock mound all along the edges there you'll see a big pile of rocks back there because we are going to be creating a rock river which I will show you here shortly and then you can just see my husband's down there pulling weeds so for almost one full week, we just pulled weeds and then we laid weed paper down and just started to do some landscaping. So every little bit you see here will be a little bit more improved. We're still not 100% done, so I'll show you when we eventually get everything done. And these here I'm showing you are plants that we planted last year. These are peony plants. We did some ground cover up there and I'm just so excited because everything is coming back um, they're not fully developed and really big yet but they will get there um, it's just so exciting to see when you plant something that it comes back the next year um, and so yeah moving on here is where we're going to be creating the river rocks um, and as you'll see it is just really pretty i'm showing you here some magnolia trees they're little baby trees um, but they will grow taller 
And then we moved on and bought some Japanese maples, which are right here. These are the ones that can be in full sun. So those two we just planted as well. So as you can see, we have just been extremely busy. So let me go ahead and just keep continuing showing you all that we have accomplished throughout this week. I tell you one thing, my age is showing because after just doing yard work for a couple of days, my entire body was sore. And yeah, this is no joke. Yard work is no joke. So, but it's very rewarding to see how everything's turning out. And here I'm showing you all of the new plants that we are going to be planting in the new landscaped area. I'm really excited to get those put in. And like I said, I'll just always show you the progress and what we're doing. Um, these here are lavender trees. They're topiary plants. I'm gonna be planting them in my whiskey barrels there. And as you can see, we are starting with the river rocks, just doing a little section at a time. And yeah, so I'll just let you see this, enjoy. And thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon with some more cleaning and updates on landscaping and plants and all that good stuff. Take care, guys. I'll be back soon. Bye. done and as you can see we did two sets of pavers look she's such a good girl she's walking right on the pavers good girl Lily Lily go on the grass <laughs> there she goes anyway it's looking good so I think tonight we're gonna try to finish up that hill and get the rocks put in there and then we have this whole side here to do but i'm so excited because she had a really hard time walking on my little pebble rocks so she's got these little walkways and she's a smart dog she figured it out good girl lily <laughs> so it's looking good we're really happy with it we're gonna do the same things way out there i'm not sure if you can kind of see so still a lot of work to do. Um, there's also plants that we're gonna kind of spread throughout. Most of them are succulents. The rest are kind of down there. So yeah, excited with the progress and excited that it's a rainy day. Maybe if it rains all day, we can take a break because this mama is sore.